Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for coming by the channel once again to see some more Captain Tsubasa Dream Team. I'm the homie Nako bringing you in this video. Uh, my thoughts and opinions regarding the changes that are coming later. Well, I can't really say for sure that they're coming later tonight after the maintenance is over. Because I went back and rewatched the live stream of the of K Lab for for the game, Captain Tsubasa Dream Team, of course. And they were talking about how the changes would be implemented in the near future, but they didn't necessarily give a date. So I think most of us are assuming that that's going to happen after the maintenance. But um, there's also a part in the in the live stream where they mentioned that they were still testing out and working out to see if the changes in the bond system will be able to be changed during halftime so my guess is from what they gave us in the live stream they're giving us the layout of the plan but it's not fully ready to be implemented yet or if they decide to bring it out please keep in mind that they mentioned on there that it's practically it's subject to change so in other words it's almost maybe like a beta system so if there's some bugs or something where it's not fully working out at first don't get all upset it's a new change that's coming to the game and it's a big change and quite frankly i think personally my opinion is that it's an incredible change an awesome change i think it finally makes the game true to its name captain subasa dream team you finally are going to have the opportunity to tinker with the team setup so much and get creative in so many different ways that we can all finally be unique to a certain extent, right? So like, let's say even when you would watch the Dream Championships and stuff like that, sometimes you would see a lot of very similar team makeups. It's true. You might still see some of that. However, how their, their bonds are activated will be completely different because now it will be entirely depending on all the players that you own. So this means a couple of things. For one, if you're a veteran or you're somebody that's been playing for a long time, like I have, I have a bunch of cards at my disposal. And that's why I wanted to make this video with my main account because I kind of wanted to show you guys some ideas and stuff like that and how this change affects even some of the players that I remember when they first came on. Uh, I'm sorry, when they brought all these anniversary players back and they gave them like updates and like skill uh, and stats. Like take Sorimachi, for example, right? That I think is the 97 version, the one that's the super sub. People were already trying to use them in a way to counter Genzo. I'm not sure if it was working out, but you would have to sacrifice some bond to use him because he doesn't have any bonds to activate. Now, with the new system, any one of these players that doesn't have a bond or has a very crappy bond, but the card is strong, now you can use them now this one i'm gonna get let me show you guys this one for example okay and and then i'll go over how the system works okay but before i do that don't forget to like and subscribe leave your commentary down below any questions that you have i'll do my best to answer them as soon as i can uh it just seems that life is always throwing darts at me and i'm like <laughs> and then still trying to make the time to make the video so please please bear with me i appreciate your patience okay let me just show you this character card okay now because of the fact that misaki the new misaki is coming out and the new game and the new natureza this card is not going to hit as hard as i thought it would but you know it could have possibly given genzo a run for its money because as you see this is a very 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 old card one of the first to come out but look at that japanese killer at plus 30 Yes, you're stuck with an A shot, but I mean, if you arm them up or whatever, I just, you know, before they made the change to the boundary break system, I just had them at level four, ready to sacrifice them for any good Ryoma Hino that would pop out, which people were speculating would be for the Dream Fest, but that didn't happen. So, you know, I just went back and looked at him because after I did the auto, I was like, why did they put this guy there? Is he like, does he have top stats? And then I looked at him I'm like, whoa. So this guy, even if you don't use him as, let's say, a goal scorer, Look at that technique, yo. Technique, power, speed, everything. You know, this is, of course, BB-8. But, you know, against Japanese, plus 30%. And as you see here, I don't fully unlock them, of course. 
but if they release an, uh, an op huga you got this guy right here to slow him down a little bit uh he'll have pressure to put some uh of course pressure on the defensive you see this bond right here is not gonna matter it's not gonna matter you'll be able to play this unit if you want to if you happen to just need a card or something this card could have maybe some utility if you have them the way that i have them at bb8 where it was for free i didn't have to sacrifice any resources at all maybe i could toy with them maybe we could create some maybe there's some tournaments i know that juanito steiner he has some uh the humble cup maybe i could use this player there or something maybe i should participate you know i just need to make the time but oh well anyway so you know i just wanted to give you an example of that okay so now let me show you what i mean but give me one second so i can switch it up hold up okay so we're gonna get here from the live uh, from the live stream itself i took the screenshots and everything so we'll go over the key points real quick the bond skills of player set for the starting lineup will not be activated and i have a screenshot that shows that okay so remember before the bond skills would activate based on the 11 players that you had on the field it tells you right there the bond skills of players set for the starting lineup will not be activated the 11 newly selected players can be the same players as the starters and reserves so you have 11 starting and then it's seven on the reserve so you have 18 players right the new 11 newly selected players can be the same players as the starter and reserve so what it's telling you is if you want to choose to activate the bonds of the 11 players that are there or the reserves you can do that it's, and then the third line says 11 players can be selected for each team to activate the bond skills okay furthermore this is what this means okay furthermore the scope of activation conditions the scope of activation conditions for the bond skills of the player selected to activate will be expanded from starters only to 18 players including reserve players that's very important to be aware of because if you saw the inter banner uh yeah not the juve the inter banner my complaint with ishisaki and with uh what's his face uh aoi and maybe even uh zeno hernandez was that well, there's not really many club players to activate their bond they're not really active players to activate their bond that are top tier blah 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 okay where well, there's some players here and there that now even if you have like let's say uh let's say you had Zeno hernandez but you have absolutely zero other club players and then buy from the tickets from the big thanks tickets or something you pull that sdf natureza from back in the day the madrid one the red one but you don't use him you don't have a way to use him or you don't want to use him because he's outdated but you could at least put him on your bench to activate the bond of Zeno hernandez because it's gonna count that he's there it's no longer just the 11 players on the field the scope has been expanded from starters only to 18 players including reserve players okay that doesn't mean that the bonds that you can select are limited to those 18 players you can actually pick from any player that you own any 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 player that you own and we're gonna go over a lot of those old players that i have that i have already been going through placing hearts on them favoriting them and blah 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 so that i could pick out some of the higher bonds and stats and debuffs and stuff like that that i could use and toy with so that i could show you guys as well okay and then yeah let's continue hold on hold on okay now we continue on here to the next screen talking about the additional changes and as you see right there if you don't recognize that card that is captain subasa true captaincy that's the green card that went through all so many changes during that era for anybody that was playing during that time where debuff was a big 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 thing like really really big where it suddenly got like after that anniversary where juve banner was first introduced with you and all that stuff and then we went from that to the sudden debuff meta and everybody like we got no shields we have no shields and true captaincy was the one then they changed them and then the event one was the one and then they changed him and then blah 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 so anyway the point is the way that they left true captaincy and that's the thing we'll get into that as well okay the hidden skill stat handicap resistance will change to a bond and that's going to be limited to skills with no activation conditions and that target the entire team 
So what this means is that any card that has the uh, stat handicap resistance on the own stats, those are not going to be changed to a bond. That'll still activate as a hidden ability of the card that has it, but it will not apply the bond to the entirety of the team. Only the ones, as it mentions here, that apply to an entire team. So the reason why they show true captaincy right here, and I don't know if everybody caught that, but that's a very good card to have. That's a very good card to have because of the bond stuff that it has. And that's going to show you the value of having some of these old cards that you probably otherwise would have gotten rid of. In this case, the way that they left true captaincy, and hopefully they don't make them change again. Oh my goodness, it's already almost 12. Uh, is the fact that they gave him 5% bond and 5% shield. And I think he just requires maybe two or three Japanese players on the field, maybe four, I forgot. But five and five, that's a 10%. Okay, so keep that in mind as you look through your old players. All right, so here we see one of the screens that K Lab showed us. Um, it was the team edit screen, and it was showing up there the new way that the bond selection and everything is going to work. 62% bond in this team with the 7% debuff. Now, when they first showed it, some people got scared, thinking like, whoa, 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 does that mean that Misaki is a debuffer? Because every player that we see on there, as far as we knew, was a bond player or a buff player. We'll have to call them buff players now, not bond players. My bad, because a, a debuff stat, a plus stat, or a buff stat, uh, a shield, they're all going to be considered bonds. So it's either a buff player, debuff player, or shield player, or both, or all three, or whatever, okay? Uh, but then, on the next screen, they'll show you also how... Um, they select the player and they show you the example of how just because they're on the field doesn't mean that they're, they're whatever their bond is is automatically activated. Let's show that. All right, so here's the screen where they end up showing. Um, they clicked on Subasa right there, and as you see, his bond is not activated as part of the 62% or whatever it was that it was showing on the previous screen. And on the next screen, we're going to show you just exactly the, how. The, what players are being used to activate the bonds and give you some examples from that okay one sec all right so as we had seen previously on the team selection screen they had 62 percent bond 62 percent buff seven percent debuff and here is the bond selection screen that shows you the types of players that were selected to create the bond okay on the previous screen it was nothing but japanese players nothing but and some of them had like uh, a lot of those were five percent players and blah 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 here as you can see you have sdf schneider you have dc zeno hernandez you have that madrid from the next dream transfer and is wow that's pretty crazy so some of these other players like looking at that madrid now i'm like wow man because he has four percent buff and minus 3.5 debuff. That's 7.5. 7.5, you know? And the thing is that if you try and play buff only, the max that we're getting right now is just 6%. And whenever we do get shields, well, it comes at the cost of buff. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. It's going to be interesting then, is what I mean, you know? Now, if you have like DC Margus or something, for example, and all you want to do is play pure buff, you can do that now. Okay. And it's not just limited to this way. Let me show you what other thing you can do. Okay. Hold up. All right. Now here, one of the things that they did is that they changed it up a bit and they show you that the bond selection is not limited to one version of the same character. So even if you saw on on you saw on the field, they had the newest Misaki that's gonna be released later tonight for the Super Dream Festival, and here they just made the changes in the bonds. They selected that DC Misaki, which had fallen behind by a lot, now has extreme value because four percent bond and four percent buff and five point five percent shield is nothing to. Mm -mm. It's no joke. That's 9.5%. Up until now, I think that's still the highest in terms of bond totals that you can get. Because debuff has gone up to minus 9. Buff, the highest is still at 6. But debuff has gone up to minus 9. 
7, 7.5. Some of them here and there are 8. But Buff has been capped at 6 for the time being. So Misaki is very crucial because he has that 5.5%. Okay, but as you see here, there is another version of Misaki, I think, oops, that blue one right there, right? Who also has bond, I'm sorry, buff and shield. Wow, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to that, huh? Buff at 3.5 and shield at 3% for total bonds of 6.5. But that's just a few examples to show you that you are not limited. You are not limited to being uh if you have one of the a specific character on the field or on the bench or whatever you can still select the bonds from another version of that character so that's pretty cool okay i think that's awesome that's really 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 gonna expand on all the possibilities that you could think of and of course it's all gonna be dependent on the type of players that you have so let me show you guys a few ideas but i have to take a quick pause right now because i already see that i went over my time and I got to get ready to go pick up my kids from summer school. So let me do that. I'll come back and then I'll show you guys what's up with my main team and like the players that I have and stuff like that. So you could get a few ideas of some of the stuff that you could be on the look route for. Some of the uh, now people would used to be asking like, uh, oh, is this player good? Is this player good? Well, now that's going to depend a lot. It's no longer going to be a matter of. Uh, whether the player is good for the field or not, but what are the bonds like? You could have a really crappy character, but the bonds are insane. I'm talking to you, Nita. Nita, the one that wouldn't stop coming to me, and all of a sudden you are a very, very valuable piece of the squad because of your 6% buff and 3% shield. That's 9%. Paired up with this Misaki is going to give me 10% buff and 8.5% shield, which is not bad at all from just two players. Now, uh, we also have, I want to show you guys a few differences in like, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to use Owyran, the DC one, or Owyran, the regular gacha one that's debuff. Now with the new changes, I think I've made up my mind. And I want to show you guys a few players that will be possible uh, possible counters of both Natureza and Misaki. One of them which you can get for absolutely free from these uh, tokens and stuff. And one that you get through the gacha system. Well, through any regular gacha. And that is, of course, to me, it's still DC. I'm sorry, not DC or Wairan, but the regular gacha or Wairan. And let me show you why. And let me show you what's up. But let me go get my children first. And then I'll get to that, all right? Stay tuned, because I definitely want you to see a lot of these different units that you should be keeping an eye out for. All right? Be right back. All right, so I've returned just to actually psych. I'm not going to continue with what I said I was going to continue with. I apologize for that. I'm going to just recording this bit right here to end the video here. Because I want to get this up as soon as possible. And I was thinking of a lot of different ways that I wanted to showcase uh, some of the stuff that can be done based on like the changes that are coming. And I wanted to review now that we have the info already for the SDF players and stuff like that. So I'll make that a separate video. Otherwise, this video might be too long. And the other portion, I would actually like to do that in both English and Spanish. Well, this portion will only be done in English. So... I'm going to end it here. I'm going to call it here. And I'm going to say thank you very much for the support, for coming by, for the patience as well. And uh, I hope that you have good luck in the SDF coming up. And we'll see you back for more. All right. As always, please, let's remember to please practice kindness. Let's be respectful. Let's be responsible. Let's be safe. Take care of yourself and each other with much love and peace to the next one. Be on the lookout for the next one. It's coming up. It's coming up.